Hello guys, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle, and yes, another celebrity tarot. And you guys wanted me to do a reading on the weekend and Simi, the girl that he's with right now, I'm assuming. So with this said, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles could be in reverse between energies. And with this said, let's move forward. Prince of Autumn, Seven of Springs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So I do feel like they're actually compatible, but at the same time, they're not compatible. I do feel like they're pretty similar in ways that it's not the most positive, yet it's workable. Uh, they both have they both have like feisty attitudes, to be honest. He uh, seems to be very, allegedly very... Uh, uh, protective oh and i forgot to say that you know my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will not everything's going to resonate with everybody roles could be in reverse in between energies and everything said and mentioned in this readings is for entertainment purposes only and everything is allegedly okay now going back to this i'm sorry that i forgot to say that at the beginning but hey better late than never um he's protective he's kind but i do feel like he's too protective sometimes and she is more free spirit and this could cause a little bit of like tension meaning that he could be allegedly a little bit of jealous guy the way she dresses he may be a little bit jealous and the attention she gets uh, i do feel like he finds a way to balance it out but he it seems like he could be a jealous dude though but the five of springs and reverse and the nine of summers right here i do see that again I allegedly they kind of argue a lot because they're so similar and so feisty I feel like this is like two alphas in the relationship and it's very hard when they're both alphas and and um in a relationship it's just not gonna work I do feel like it's the allegedly they do argue a lot because they do have two perspectives there's two views of how things need to run um I do see that allegedly he does pamper her a lot buys her a lot of things but it could be allegedly quite toxic in ways because it seems to be that he could be a little bit jealous in a way or she considers him a little bit too jealous even if he's not i do feel like she wants to do things her way he wants to do things his way and they do manage to make it work but allegedly they do argue a lot and there's always some tension because they're alike and opposite at the same time with the sun right here i do see that uh with the sun right here um leo energy there could be a certain a certain scandal or a certain rumor here of her and a specific colleague i don't know if she's a model honestly i never even looked uh at her picture or anything so i don't know what she does for a living but i do feel like if she were to be a model also he could be allegedly jealous of a specific model and this could be a scandal related to her cheating or allegedly cheating I, i'm not saying that she is or not it's a scandal okay um this could be down the road it's not gonna happen now it's gonna be around like around the summer most likely now with the empress and the fool in the reverse uh, i do see that she's high man maintenance uh, libra energy allegedly she's high maintenance she likes good stuff and all that and they quite i said they're quite different he's more in a bay more grounded and more humble she is more uh, i'm not saying she's a bad it's not a bad thing either or being humble or being high maintenance is not even a bad thing it's about you go with what you can afford or what you like at this point you know so it's not criticizing neither because again if you're high maintenance you're high maintenance and that's that that's not a big deal you know like everybody is the way they are now it's just gonna be that that they're two opposites because he's more she's grounded so again this causes like different two different perspectives or visions of lifestyles so he likes bougie girls but then allegedly he expects them to not be bougie or to not want to have those tastes but he met them like that so i don't know i don't know here i do feel like there's a need of finding some balance here i do feel like i don't know i don't feel like they go together very well of course they look cute whatever but i don't see energetically they don't go together very well there's a sense of like friction here let's see what else can you tell about this relationship mother allegedly he's in denial in a way and because i do feel that allegedly he could be talking about 
situations with some friends or family and they're saying that they're telling them the same thing I'm telling them they they're not compatible I do see that there's uh, an imminent breakup or separation eventually and this has nothing to do with love or not love I do see like there's something that will happen again this could be related to the alleged scandal that could happen down the road again all allegedly of course that is going to lead him to uh, allegedly like make a decision maybe break up with her I do see that he's the one I do feel like he feels betrayed allegedly he will feel betrayed so there's a cheating scandal somewhere reminiscing you know um, again it seems like this could happen with a fire sign this seems to be a model another model or a model here and or an actor as well allegedly so i do feel like oh the relationship is not gonna last forever what uh, what he liked about her is that she's self-sufficient with uh, libra energies in aries uh that she has her thing that she knows what she wants he loves how she acts but at the same time he expects her to not allegedly to not act like that so i'm like at this point i feel like they're just not compatible and they care for each other and they actually look good and of course it could allegedly help each one each other's image but i do feel right here that at the same time they're just not compatible now i'm not talking about kids or nothing because we got to live in 2023 kids if if they haven't if they have kids or not it's not going to actual a baby does not make a relationship who's not compatible compatible it just gives kids you know everybody could co-parent but excuse me either way i do feel like he liked a lot of things about her allegedly he was very very intensely attracted to her to her body of course she seems to be very beautiful but at the same time here i do feel like he allegedly expected her to act like a wifey to settle down and she is still wanting to work in her career and in her life so at this point they have two different interests and i feel like that that is going to that's gonna, gonna going to cause problems which i already see as i explained allegedly i do see that they made the connection serious too fast i feel like they made it too fast according to the energy says they too make it official they start living it together too fast whatever this is allegedly water energies pisces against scorpio and they made a serious commitment too soon i feel like they should have like gotten to know each other a little bit longer and i feel that once again that's what cost uh all this the honeymoon phase is it's like you know minimizing and i feel like allegedly like that's what it's costing like they're getting annoyed they're getting upset because again you never know the, a person to you live with them honestly it's in autumn right here i do feel that again this they could have kids it's like a very small chance could have kids but it's not going to change the fact and i also see that they're also both very uh, allegedly very focused in their own careers and neither of them are willing to sacrifice something for the other person so that's a very big problem here when you want a relationship with somebody you go both need to sacrifice something or one does it or both of them do it and when i say one of the two is they're also agreeing to that so it's not going to be forced and that's the thing you cannot force anybody to do anything and she's very feisty she's not going to let anybody tell her what to do and that's amazing because you go girl but allegedly here they're both very um in center in their own careers and this is not, not anything bad again nobody should po postpone their blessings or work for anybody but at this point it's saying that um it's saying that yeah they're very focused on their career and that's a thing that it may not work finally right here i do i do feel right here that she is going to actually reach out to others uh when the breakup happens uh legendly here uh he's going to become a little bit unemotional he may come with songs as well it's talking about cold-hearted song and I do feel that she may regret what she did at the end of the day, allegedly. Uh, she's going to regret it, but it's going to be allegedly too late. I don't see him uh, making a second chance or giving her a second chance. I do feel that he may find somebody else. But I do feel like he's going to become a little bit hard, like cold-hearted as well. So I do feel here that the relationship may end in the future because something happened to her allegedly again. It's a scandal. It's not saying that she did or not, but whatever it is, it seems like she's gonna regret it because she did not. Uh, she did not. Um, she took someone for granted and took an opportunity for granted. But I do feel like, regardless of if she would have done it or not, I do feel like um, 
she she was still like they both were like not compatible at, at all so i wish i could tell you more but it's like they're not compatible i don't even see that they actually spend so much time together either like they, even if they live together they're doing their own thing so at that point you cannot do that even i like i said i work at home right with my kid i'm with my kid and work at home and my my fiance works outside for hours we always uh stay in touch and communication in ways and the fact that they don't do that like that's a difficult difficult thing to do so that's what i see here if you want any other thing just let me know but you know i don't tend to extend it if i don't see a lot so this is the end of the reading thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe please follow my social media especially instagram if you follow me i follow back i want to remind you that again um I have a giveaway going on if you want to win a reading with me please make sure to subscribe and it will be a live reading so it'll be here on youtube if you want to know more about that giveaway please check out the video already posted with this said thank you again for the love and support you guys you guys are amazing reminder that i do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and i don't do anything like message you through any social media offering you my readings because that's a thing that i never do so with this said guys thank you so much for the love and support and love you